Counting down to election day, we are tracking the days, hours, minutes, and even the seconds, and we are 17 days out from November 5th. However, many will make a decision before then. Early voting is underway in North Carolina. Former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris are making a final push in battleground states, including North Carolina, hoping to convince you to cast a ballot in their favor. So far, there's been a record breaking number of people across the state who've cast a ballot on the first day of early voting. And if you want to beat the crowd, some of these counties have tracking tools to keeping tabs on the wait times. Forsyth County is one of them. Fox 8's Gretchen Stanger tested out to see how accurate it is. Gretchen, what you find? Yeah, I started out my morning here at the Miller Park Community Center, and as soon as I pulled up, it was very apparent that the website was correct. There was going to be a wait. I, uh, when I, uh, there was going to be a wait, and the line was wrapped around the sidewalk. I timed one voter from start to finish, and it took her an hour and a half to get in and out. Yvonne McConico arrived at Miller Park Community Center at 1120 a.m., and she expected a wait. I'm going to say 40 minutes. That is about what the Forsyth County website estimated. The map marked the polling location orange, suggesting a longer wait. I just want to make sure I do it, you know. McConico says it is a small price to pay for making her voice heard. I want women's rights. Um, that's really important to me because, you know, I'm, I'm a child of the 50s and uh, my best friend died on an illegal abortion table. And that's something you don't ever get over. You don't, you don't forget that. Yeah. About 40 minutes into her wait, the polling staff made an announcement. But McConico kept her place in line. Not at all. No, I'm not leaving. <laughs> no, if I had to sit on the ground, I'll be just fine. <laughs> I'm going to stay right here. 20 minutes later, McConico made her way inside the polling place to cast her vote. And 30 minutes later, she came out. It took her about one hour and 30 minutes to cast her vote in total. 12 minutes down the road, another polling place at the Winston-Salem State University. The website showed no wait here, and that was true. There was no line to get in. For Teresa Varner, the longest part of the process was filling out the ballot. She was in and out the door in less than 15 minutes, and she says if people are putting off voting because of the crowds, Please come here. The people are kind. Everyone is friendly. They're easy to get along with. They want to communicate with you and help you in every way. And they're very, very, very efficient. Clay Abbott says the county's tracking tool is very helpful for voters. Uh, anytime people ain't got to stand around too long, it's a good thing, you know. After a while, people get aggravated, you know. So, yeah, might encourage more people to come out and vote. Exercise your right, okay? Some voters I spoke with today knew about the website while others didn't. The people who knew about it decided to go to the polling locations with the shortest wait times. Now, if you're somebody in Forsyth County that wants to check out the wait times, you can head to our website, myfox8.com. In Forsyth County, Gretchen Stinger, Fox 8 News. So that's for Scythe County. If you're in Guilford County, this that you see right behind me here is a great resource for when you go vote. Shows all the early voting locations in the county, the estimated wait times for each. We'll get a look at one of them right now. If our producer can hover over one. So that is, it looks like 301 West Market. It's the old courthouse right there. Right now it's a 30 minute wait time. So they have all of the wait times, all the locations on there. And you can find the link to that map by going to the Guilford County website. It's under the early voting section. A record setting day for North Carolina with more than 353,000 people casting their ballots on the first day of early voting. The state says these numbers topped the previous record set in 2020 at 348,000. That's an increase of 1.3 percent. As of this morning, the State Board of Elections reports more than 428,000 people have voted in the state. That includes 75,000 absentee ballots cast.